It just takes one or two to sniff the air and decide the time is right to leave. Why does the Negro leave the South? <laughs> Indeed, you would feel a large part of the answer if you could be on this train, in this Jim Crow car, and share for one night the longing of these people to reach the line that divides Dixie from the rest of creation. As soon as I got on that train, I felt free. Sure, I was sitting in the Jim Crow section up front where all the coal and dust rose up, got in the windows and ruined my clothes. But the chugging of the train couldn't hardly keep up with the beating of my heart. Just behind us is a car for white people, where they can stretch out and rest their heads. They have paid exactly the same fares as we have. Some of these colored men are in the service of the United States, summoned from the far corners of Texas to fight for democracy in Europe. This is certainly a good preparation for trench warfare. We were hoping we'd see the Mason-Dixon line. I thought it would look like a line of trees with some kind of white mark in the middle. Then someone said, the bridge ahead was it. We were north now. 